Hey guys, so this is going to be a redone video of my how to bleach your hair platinum if you are very dark. Um, naturally my hair is like a very dark chocolate brown. I get a lot of questions asking what toner I use and all that other stuff. This is going to be a dummy's guide to how to bleach your hair platinum. Because when I had jet black hair and I wanted to know how to go blonde, I had no idea what the hell a toner was or volumes of bleach. I'm not a professional. Yeah. So if you do any of these things and your hair falls out, don't blame me. Redo my um, roots every two to three weeks. Now I know that might sound really really frequent but for platinum blonde hair you're gonna need to keep up with your roots. Um, so this is what my roots go like. I left my roots for about six or maybe eight weeks and this is how they went. Look at my roots! Ooh. Don't leave your roots too long because this is what's gonna happen. Don't leave your roots too long before you redo the growth because I redid I bleached them roots up again the next day which was extremely stupid and I've got a massive tuft of hair and it's gone all crunchy and it was a very stupid idea to do so yeah if your roots don't lift just wait another two weeks before you actually go and redo them again because my hair snapped off well my hair is I'd say my hair was very strong anyway so I was surprised that my hair did actually break things that I use for my hair are blue XL powder and this cream peroxide in 30 volume get them as a pair from eBay not expensive like 16 pound I think for both of them I don't measure these I usually mix them to a cream like a cake mix consistency that's how I can describe it with no lumps and bumps you don't want it too runny and you don't want it too thick just think if you were baking a cake how you'd have the mixture I mix everything in this little bowl you can get these from Poundland and this is what I use to do my roots just make sure when you do your roots try and keep as close to your regrowth as possible now my roots tend to go yellow before they go blonde that's why I try and keep up as well with them just so I have as little yellow in my hair as possible. I usually leave that on for about, I know it sounds bad, but an hour. I don't time myself, I just wait till it gets to the level of blonde that I want. Some people do like to leave it on 45 minutes. If you want to time yourself, that's fine, but I was debating whether to start using 40 volume, but I really don't, I don't know if that's going to be too strong and just make my hair just go I do find my hair doesn't grow very fast at all. It, it really does stunt the growth of your hair having blonde. I mean, some people can have, um, like, grow the hair, but my hair never ever gets oily. If you are going to bleach your hair, definitely invest in this L'Oreal Elixir Oil. It's a dupe of Moroccan oil, and it's ten pounds, and it is the best stuff ever. I absolutely love this. Another good thing to have is this Redken Anti Snap. You put this on after you have a shower you know wash your hair put it on damp hair and then just leave it when i noticed my hair was actually getting really dry and starting to it was just looking horrendous i used this um, and it did help it a lot and then i started using this that is really great stuff if anyone wants to get that and you haven't got enough money to buy moroccan oil get the l'oreal elixir oil from boots and the redkin anti stamp you usually get them from like her dresses if you can afford the redkin um products definitely get shampoo conditioner all that other stuff because yeah you want to try and keep your hair healthy i usually separate my hair um i've been doing my hair differently so however is best for you but if you want to use the toner that's fine if you understand them but i don't understand toners like mixing them and everything and I will give you a little tip which will save you a lot of money and it is using L'Oreal Silver Shampoo on your roots after you've done them. This is my toner. I bleach my roots and then use this on them afterwards and obviously it's a shampoo as well and this was £14 and look at the size of it. That is ridiculous. 
Um, so this is all I use for my Platinum Blonde Hair. Simple. I don't know why anyone uses a toner. I don't know what the difference between a toner is and this shampoo because this gets me platinum. So yeah. And you can leave that on as long as you want because it's only a shampoo. Obviously it's not going to damage your hair. The L'Oreal Silver Shampoo w works on any blonde hair. It just takes away the brassiness out of it. I don't know how it will work on like darker blonde hair but I think it just makes your hair more ashy. That's it. So if you get quite... I'll show you a picture of my hair before I started using my L'Oreal Silver Shampoo. So as you can see it's quite a yellow blonde um, but now this is more like a whitey blonde and the only thing that I've really changed is how long I've left my how long um, I do my regrowth and using the shampoo and that's it. When I put all my bleach in my head I usually put a plastic bag on as well to keep the heat in and then I wrap my head in a towel um, just so it processes faster just keep an eye on it just make sure your hair isn't um, snapping off and stuff like that but if you think your hair it's judgment if you don't think your hair can put up with the amount of bleaching don't do it if, if you do go to a hairdresser's yeah it's going to be a lot more expensive but would you rather save your hair instead of it all falling off I do use hair extensions but my real hair is down here which for blonde hair I don't think that's too bad um, except for my snappage on the top which is kind of depressing but yeah don't bleach your hair twice in one go because it's a very stupid idea I get a lot of questions as well saying what do you do if you want to go from black to blonde now I would say personally go the hairdressers to get it stripped leave your hair as long as you can without putting any brown dyes on it or black dyes leave it six, for best results leave it six months to grow out and then get it bleached up because you'll find it it'll go more blonde then instead of orange um, when I first got my hair bleached up at the hairdressers it went vivid orange I was horrified and then I but if you want to do it at home yourself with your bleach that's fine you just want to know what toner you're going to put on it afterwards but what I did instead of using a toner to tone the orange I put directions um, her dyes over it so like you could use a red I know people say don't use a red because it's really hard to get out but for the directions her dyes they don't they're not like the box ones they're just like a just think of it as like a little paint pot for your hair that's all it is it doesn't damage it anything like that so have a funky hair colour for a few months to let your hair kind of you know recover from the bleaching and you could just have a different hair colour for a few weeks whatever and then bleach it up again if your hair does have quite a lot of yellow in it I would put on a ash blonde toner on it first um, you can buy the little box box dyes But yeah, just try and find an ash blonde toner and then put a L'Oreal Silver Shampoo on it because when I used to have really, really silver hair, I remember that I used to go, I went to the hairdressers and she put a light um, ash blonde colour on my hair and then I started using the silver shampoo but leaving it on for like 45 minutes. But yeah, that's all that I did. I just used Directions hair dyes for a few months um, and then got bleached got my hair bleached up again to blonde because I did have like pink hair colour and all that sort of stuff and people are always like oh you're gonna damage your hair doing that but the directions hair dyes they don't damage your hair they're fine it's all that I can think of really if anyone else has any questions please leave them below um, also for hair extensions I usually get the lightest blonde that they usually have um, I know Foxy Locks do platinum blonde hair extensions but I can never get my hands on them so 
I usually just put again my L'Oreal Silver Shampoo on my hair extensions and pretty much a match. Uh, so yeah guys that is it. If you do have any questions please leave them below. I'll try and find the seller of the peroxide and the bleach. Um, but yeah it's up to you what kind of volume you want to use. So I hope this was helpful to anyone. Um, and yes I know bleaching is bad for your hair 